but look, before I start the video, get your passport, man. You're gonna need it. Get your passport. It's fun to have your passport, man. Since I have my passport, I'd be flying all over the world. I went to Bahamas. I went to Jamaica. I went to Germany. I went to Spain. Now I'm going to Colombia. The next trip is going to be Bahamas. April, I'm going to Haiti. Like, get your passport, man. Like, come on. Have fun. Take care of yourself. Stop spending money on bitches. Spend money on you. Get your passport and get your shit together and then travel. Have fun. Try another f country food. I'm telling you. Oh, go buy yourself or do it with your friend or do it with the family. It doesn't matter. Go. Have fun. Life is too short. You can skip what I'm saying. You can't. I don't know. You can skip it. <laughs> or you can watch it. But I'm going to talk my shit. Get your shit, man. Get your passport. If you have a visa green card whatever that's how they call it or citizen or whatever get your passport man i'm telling you that shit is fun once you travel once you will try to travel all like every month i swear to god i just went to jamaica in january now february i'm going to colombia march i'm going to bahamas april i'm going to haiti like come on and I'm gonna take a little break and then September I'm going to Greece like get your passport man take care and hey, let's watch this man I'm currently in New York I'm currently in New York City and for me to get here I needed to get a passport let me explain wow. police also stopped me because I was in Nigeria and then they arrested me and they even hit me next thing he said was we need to check your stomach for drugs i was like drugs the trump administration is expanding its travel ban now all immigrants from nigeria will be banned Damn. yo chuck was not playing <laughs> I, look if he be, if he become president all those people that came like biden bring them bring them to the u.s <laughs> I'm gonna bring them down again. I swear to God, I'm gonna send them back. I got arrested. Um, they went through my phone. They like put me in handcuffs, and they were like, "Oh, that I'm like a fraud star because I'm in Nigeria and I love that." It's been five years since I started making videos and while a lot of you guys on the other side have seen me travel the world and experience different places, it has not been easy. When I was asked what I wanted to become in high school, I wasn't really sure but I knew that I wanted to see the world one day. This is what the world looks like when my friends who have a US or a UK passport want to travel. And this is what the world looks like whenever I want to travel. Look at all those red dots. Those are all the places I can go to. Why, you may ask? Because I'm Nigerian and I have the green passport, which is one of the weakest across the world. Even in Africa, as Africans, we still have to apply for a lot of visas. And sometimes you might get denied. For me to go to places like Tanzania, for me to go to Namibia, Morocco, Egypt, I need to apply for a visa. You can spend a lot of time just for one application. And then the amount of documents they ask you to provide is just a lot. And I'm like, why? It's the same Africa. And that has led to me not being able to travel to so many places that I wanted to travel to for a very long time. The, the front of the airplane. I'm thinking on my camera, so I, the only place I can record is on my phone. We need to check your stomach for drugs. I was like, drugs? How do you just build a perception on somebody without even knowing the person just because the person is from Nigeria? Dubai has been denied a lot of Nigerian males between the age of 35 to 20. This was two years ago. I was denied entry into Dubai even though I was invited for a conference just because I was in Nigeria. This denial eventually became the final straw for me and this was the period where I decided I needed to consider another alternative. 
just landed in Arusha, Tanzania. These programs uh, give you the passport without having to renounce your current citizenship, which is extremely important for some of our clients. Most of the documents you, you mentioned are documents I either have or I can easily get. I believe the Caribbean programs for citizenship by investment are the best option. Mm -hmm. And you can, of course, travel with these passports to over 120 countries visa-free, including the EU and the UK. How much does that cost? For St. Kitts and Nevis, the price changes depending on the investment option. Currently, it's around $150,000 for the donation option. However, that this option will expire soon. So we encourage anyone who's looking into that option to, to apply in the current time. 150000 so usually there are multiple ways to get a citizenship. Most people usually get a citizenship via marriage or living in a country for a very long time. Some people get it via investment. There are so many countries, mostly in the Caribbean, who need money to develop their country, maybe build hospitals, build schools. The Citizenship by Investment program is for people who have a lot of money. They invest in that country by paying that money to the government. That money is being used to develop those places. And because of that contribution, then they give you a citizenship. Since I'm not married and I've been living in Nigeria my whole life, the only option for me is to go via the citizenship by investment routes. They are telling me it's gonna cost 150,000 US dollars. Yeah. I'm wondering where I'm gonna get that from now. Yeah. That's a lot of money, which I don't That's have. That's crazy. $150,000 a lot. Gosh, that's a rip off, man. That's a scam. Hmm. What do you think about getting like a new citizenship? Oh, definitely. The, the opportunities are up beyond this world, especially for the travel industry. A second citizenship would actually go a long way. Yeah. The only problem now is getting the money because it's yeah, super you expensive. Get the money. Well, 150 people, one thousand dollars. I'll be your first one, one out of one. Oh, you really? Dollars. Yeah. You have one thousand dollars from me, so you have to go and find. 149 who will give you $1,000. I've asked myself, what's the most important thing a man can want? And for me, it's freedom. Freedom to decide where you want to be. Is he how he enjoy himself? Look, man, you don't know nothing, man. Travel and then have those excursions, man. Trust me. Be when you want to be there. Over the years, you know, I think about my life and I realize that. And I got videos on, on my laptop right here. I gotta edit for Jamaica. So stay tuned to that. I, have, I, I gotta edit it too. So it's gonna take time, but you're gonna see. And the Colombia too, I might do video from Colombia too. So some stuff I can do, so some stuff I'm gonna do. You know how it is. I'm not really interested in material stuff like buying a car, buying a house. But even though. You do four days, five days overseas or go overseas, man. Like go to the cheaper places, go to Expedia or cheap Caribbean and you find even the cruise. Go, man. Travel. Work hard and travel, man. You will love it. Trust me. It's a memory. You not you won't you won't forget this. And then once you're going home and say, damn, I want to go back watch house those would be nice but for me i want to see the world that has always been my dream but facing all these rejections has been an impediment and it has made it super difficult sometimes i think of ideas and i want to travel to a specific country either in africa or outside africa but i can't go because of my passport during my COVID travel run at respect services i was told that the process to get a new citizenship takes approximately eight months as long as i'm able to raise the 150k raising 150 thousand dollars is not a joke but there's one thing i know how to do and i know how to do really well which is to tell great stories so i guess i'll just continue making videos <laughs>
That's a document. That documentary. Nice. Hey, he got his. Uh... Guys, guess what finally came in the mail? I left this room with just this passport, but now it has a brother. I'll call probably call this a senior brother because he has he can travel to more places. He got all the countries I can't travel to now. That's good. If I get married or if I have children, it also automatically transfers to them. So my children will also be Nigerian, but they will also be Caribbean too. Sinkit is located somewhere in the Caribbean islands, yeah. just above South America, and it has a lot of other islands around it. I need to visit this country, my new country. I'm Caribbean now. Time to celebrate with you guys. Yes. Thanks Rawan and the team. And also thanks to my subscribers from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for following me on this journey and thanks for watching my videos. We did this. We. Us. If you love to get a new citizenship just like I did, Respect Services is offering a discount to all my amazing subscribers. So when you contact them using the link in the description, use the code TAYO to get a discount on your payments. You guys should keep watching because I have a surprise for two lucky people at the end of this video. I need to get on a plane now <laughs> to test out this passport. Who do I want to go to first? <laughs> I don't feel scared, you know? You guys all your passport is not real. I'll be like, what? Pay all this money, you know what I mean? So many months of waiting and so many years of getting denied, you know? You want to go to uh, Europe, you get denied. You want to go to the UK, you get denied. Yeah. Every single time, denied, denied. I feel like no Nigerian should have to face discrimination. Nigerians are really beautiful people. I would not be any other thing apart from being a Nigerian. And most times we are just judged on the actions of a feel bad ex. Oh, FNV. There's always this anxiety that I always have every time I'm traveling because I don't know if I'm gonna get it, so I can't even plan ahead. I can buy tickets, I can book hotels, because I have to wait till I get the visa before I can do any of that. So guys, I just passed through passport, is it passport control? It took less than 10 seconds. Normally, if I was coming with my Nigerian passport, I'm sure they would have asked me 1 million questions. The guy didn't even ask me anything. And he just put the stamp on the passport. We got it here. <laughs> you know, this passport is magic. The emotions run into my mind. I can't even imagine that this is actually possible to just pass through like that without having any issues. It's crazy. Just bring out a passport and nobody asks you any questions. Nobody asks, Where's your visa? Oh, do you have a visa to UK? No, I don't need a visa to UK. Do you have a visa to Europe? No, I don't need a visa to Europe. Now I can go to South Korea, I can go to Peru, can go to I can North go Korea. to Colombia. You can go to North Korea, North Korea, but Colombia? Yeah, I heard a lot of shit about Colombia, man. <laughs> Can't wait. I can go to Barbados, Rihanna's home, Barbados. Mm. I can decide to go there. Next flight is to New York. Let's see what's happening there. You have an American passport, right? Yeah, I do. You're an American? Mm -hmm. You're a Nigerian too? Yep. What was your experience when you didn't have that passport? There's always this like, 
look they give you every time you have that green passport in your hand it's just like put that away <laughs> 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 but now it's like fresh air it's like oh yeah. wow i could go anywhere in the world and you know i'll be treated with respect and even just coming back into the u.s you have a different line and that line is like five minutes you enter <laughs> but us they'll be like step aside step aside, step aside. <laughs> I like the idea of putting out something in the world. The drone shots of uh, Lagos Island Marina. I started my journey from documenting Lagos and then moved to documenting Nigeria and then documenting Africa and now I want to document the world. I want to travel to places that I've never been to before and share my experience from my perspective. There's so much happening across the globe and I want to go out there and tell those stories and bring those stories to you guys. And I guess this is how the Americans and the Europeans feel and the British people feel whenever they're traveling the world. Nothing stops them. And now, nothing is gonna stop us anymore. So we're excited. I need to pack up. I want to head to Lisbon next. It's a great feeling, man. You know, the whole idea of this video is to show you my journey of not being able to travel to different places across the world to where I currently am now, where I'm currently moving through different countries so easily. To end this video, I'm going to be giving out $1,000 to two lucky people who follow me on Instagram and who support me by subscribing to my channel. I'm currently at 750k subscribers and I need to get to 1 million this year. I'm going to be picking one of the followers from Instagram and I'm also going to be picking somebody from the comment section on YouTube. So if you want a chance to win, subscribe. <laughs> Shout out to you guys, man. You guys are the ones who made this possible. Thank you for following me on the journey. I started my own journey with less than $1,000. And I hope that this giveaway eventually spots somebody out there to start their own journey. I can't wait for what this year has to offer. There's so much more coming. I'm going to be exploring, traveling different places, man. I want to see the world. And I want you guys to come along with me. See how you happy? You next, man. Everybody next. Walk hard, travel hard. Walk hard, play hard. Okay? Catch your passport, man. Get it. I'm next. <laughs> I have my passport too, so I'm saying I'm next. Like, I'm travel. I want to go to, like, to the to the Canada thing. Where the water... I don't know the name of it. But, yeah. Oh. I'm proud of you, man. Congratulations to you, my boy. I hope one day I, I do video with you. You never know. You never know, man. Because sometimes I know you're going to feel scared to travel alone, but don't worry, guys. You got to me too. I'm, I'm going to step up on my own soon. You have to do it. Even though you go to Dallas, travel, man. Go everywhere. Alright man, peace out, take care.